Firstly, Tim, the qu one question that I've been getting over the last uh, couple of months is, everybody's been asking me, what's cooking? So, finally, finally, Mr. Cook himself is here. One, as part of our industrial policy, unlike any other state in the country, we actually allow for what is called the self-certification. Any enterprise coming into Telangana doesn't have to seek a clearance from the government because we know that's a challenge. You don't have to run around offices. You don't have to meet anybody. All you have to do is come, hit the ground running, start your enterprise. As long as you believe that you will comply with the law of the land, you can come in and start your enterprise. And we take about 15 days maximum. And we have to come back with you by statute, like I said, with a yes or a no. And what happens on the 16th day if we don't give you an answer? On the 16th day, it's a deemed approval. That's, that's the policy that we have formulated. This is the first of its kind in our country, probably the best, one of the best in the world as well. As I was getting out of my hotel after a series of meetings all day, the question before me was to be or not to be? To be dressed formally or not to be dressed formally? Well, I figured I'm in the Silicon Valley. I figured, uh, you know, I could uh, get away with uh, uh, probably dressing up informally. But then I said, you know, I'm going to a Thai event. No, I better wear a Thai. So <laughs> that, that's how I ended up, uh, you know, wearing a Thai and all. So we live in an age of uncertainty. We live in an age of IoT, Internet of Things. You're, all your appliances talking to each other. They don't talk to you, but they talk to everything else in the house, you know. You know the world we live in. In this uncertain world, I think ideas are the only tool. Ideas are the only thing that can help you. Because as they say, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And therein lies the power of ideas. Thank you very much for this opportunity. If you look at India, one of the biggest trends of India today is our human resource, our, our workforce, our think force. Because 20, more than 50% of India's population today is less than the age of 27. Right. More than 65% of India's population today is this, less than the age of 35. That gives us the largest think force on the planet. And in a knowledge economy, you can't ask for more. So as the world is aging, India is getting younger. I think we have very progressive governments which are really accelerating the kind of uh, growth story that needs to unfold because we can't talk about leapfrogging anymore. We have to talk about pole vaulting and we have to really start thinking what US has done in 25, 30 years, how we can do it in the next five to 10 years. So we have to set a very, very ambitious and an aggressive agenda. We need more capital. And India is being looked at as a story, as, a, as an investment, in fact, from a business perspective, as an investment which is going to pay off big time. Right. So I think as long as we live up to that billing, as long as we live up to the positive hope and image that our prime minister is creating outside of India as well, I think we're going to do really well in the next one decade. Wonderful. Meaning, in India, as you know, um, if you try your hand at entrepreneurship, and if you fail, in fact, we, uh, one of the things I wanted to say is, you should start celebrating failure also. I think in India, we don't celebrate failure as much. We think, you know, failing means end of the world. I don't think so, because if you look around the world, most of the successful entrepreneurs have failed more than once. So we should start getting into that habit of also turning, tr trying to learn from our failure. Now, the point I was trying to make is, if you fail in your entrepreneurial idea, and if you have to go back to the job market, T-Hub today gives you what is called as Entrepreneur in Residence, a certificate from ISB, which kind of puts a stamp on your, on your credentials, saying this guy actually tried, but nonetheless, he could not succeed as, as, as he wanted to, but at the same time, he's good enough to go back and uh, you know, start working in a professional fashion. So these are all a combination of things we do today. First of all, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> so Naku Namrata Garu, she called me and Vishnu called me and said, you know, we have to do this. I said, fine, we'll do it. But okate condition and adiyanu. Rain Japan and Mahesh and Shiva Garu, Idru Guda, handloom shirt eskunostene, no stan Japan, name would handloom shirt eskun. So we are promoting handlooms in a big way. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was really an honor, sir, wearing this. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And they're very comfortable also, by the way. They're not just charity statements, they're style statements also because Mahesh Babu is wearing it. And then there are my, my sister, my wife, my daughter, many of my friends, who all shaped me into what I am as an individual. But if I were to say one thing on this Women's Day, I would say, women, 
Now, if that is a purely uh, a man's perspective, well, please don't get me wrong on this. Women, we can't live with you. We can't live without you. That's, that's the problem. That's the problem and the good, good thing also. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting kind of 